Hello and welcome to Yaogwai Gaming where we are playing the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim and today we are finally heading towards Iverstead, towards the throat of the world, towards the Greybeards and towards our destiny as the Dragonborn. Now it's going to be a little bit of a long walk but about halfway there is a tomb, a Nordic tomb that has been desecrated with a family member who wants someone to help him fix it. So that's where we're going to head now. We're going to head over to this tomb, help out the guy there, and then continue on our way. So let's get moving. And here we are at Hilgren's tomb. Specifically we're stood on top of the entrance where there is a chest that I didn't know existed. I just hopped up here to see if there were any ingredients for us to grab before we go in. But we have an expert level locked chest, so let's get in here and see what goodies... Uh, no goodies. <laughs> that was dreadful. Alright, never mind. So, we can now move to enter the actual tomb itself. Uh, first we open this door, and then here we go. Ah! Oh, Kai, you startled me. There's a necromancer around here, so watch yourself. Can you help me? He's in the tomb doing God's know what with my dead relatives. Who is in the tomb? Val's Baron. My family has never really seen eye to eye with him. But he has finally gone off the deep end. He's gone in to defile our family tomb by using our ancestors for his filthy dark elf necromancy. My aunt went in after him, but she hasn't come out yet. And I don't think I can take him by myself. You let your aunt go in there by herself. <sighs> I'm not proud of it. I'm terrified of that place, and Aunt Agna knows it. My dad locked me in there in a drunken rage when he left us. Three days in there eating the offerings left for our dead before Aunt Agna found me. Can you help me? He's in the tomb doing God's know what with my dead relatives. Let's go. Great. I'll unlock the door and meet you inside. Then you can lead the way. All right, ancestral worship. Let's just move this wooden plate out of the way. There we go. And there's bone meal, salt, salt, salt. And. Spider eggs. I think that's everything from out here. All right, Lydia, let's go fight a necromancer. Don't go setting the place on fire, okay? Mate, I'm gonna set everything on fire. There's undead and spiders in here. It all needs to burn. But this is restoration magic, not fire magic, so calm down. Let's put the light on. All right, immediately we've got a down Draugr and and not so down to Draugr. Let's let him start the fight. There we go. All right. Let's get through. There we go. Right, let's finish this Draugr off as quickly as possible because it looks like he's got a friend coming. Okay, can we soul trap the Draugr? Let's see. We can soul trap the Draugr. Well, that's nice. God, these guys are not having a peaceful uh, peaceful afterlife, are they? Right, so we've got some snowberries here that we can steal that are offerings to the dead, and we can unlock this trap here that is designed to stop grave robbers. Like me. There we go. And what do you got? gold is that it what about you you guys got nothing no bit of gold and the lights gone off all right let's keep going then oh soul gem hello we like soul gems more yummy offerings I don't know what this kid was complaining about he got locked in here with all this food and wine <laughs> And we've got a Draugr. Okay, so... Hello! 
It's a Draga White. Yes, no, thank you. Go, go. Okay, who's that Restless Draga? All right. I don't think we can fight a less Restless Draga either, to be honest. All right, let's help these guys against the White. Uh, someone's hitting me in the back. We need to get out. Gonna die. There we go, we're out. Another Drago White. Okay, let's get the light turned back on. We can't see what's going on. Right, let's kill the restless Drago first. And then this one, this one's the engine. Right, let's get it. Let's finish it. There we go. There we go. All right, next one. A bit hungry apparently. Let's just quickly eat some food because our stamina is suffering from it. There we go. Right. There we go. And let's see if we can get some sort Yes! Bone meal and gold. Not mead. I mean, it's called a mead barrel, so that makes a lot of sense. Drago are carrying some gold. I've got some wine. Not interested in wine. All right, let's keep pushing into the tomb then. What's in the chest? Let's have a look. There we go. Bit of gold. Hey, now nah, they don't, Matt. So long as you help me get rid of mouths. That's the plan. I do indeed plan on taking whatever I want. Oh no, yeah, Annie's dead. I mean, this is your own fault. You deal with Annie, I'm just gonna steal all the food. No, Aunt Agna. Oh, Talos, why didn't I go in with her? Because you're a muppet and a bit of a coward. He's barred the door. Gods only know how he's defiling the bodies of my ancestors in there. Agna once told me. There's a secret room deeper in, where they bury disgraced members of the family. Did you hear that, that scream? Has he just machine. gone and hurt himself in there? <laughs> Alright, apparently there's a secret room, okay. Alright, let's get our light up, and healing. Oh, mushrooms! Hello, little Drago White, in you go. Just the one? Nope. Alright, this one's a regular Drago. I can take him. Yeah, I'm strong now. I can take a regular Drago. Although we're so over leveled that we would get utterly wrecked by the Drago Whites that are turning up. We'll get there though. Our crafting skills will pay off at some point soon. Okay, let's loot this one. A bit of gold. Nothing really. Useful, we got a chest here. Some gems and gold, nice. All right, let's keep going. So the Dark Elves, they practice necromancy just as like part of their culture, right? It's just a thing for them. It's not, um, it's not seen in the same way as the rest of Tamriel sees necromancy, basically. But, this guy's clearly doing it deliberately just to piss off the Nords. Because they obviously don't see it as something fine. Although Necromancy used to be fine, didn't it? I mean, that's what a big part of the conflict in the Oblivion Mages Guild is. The banning of Necromancy. And a lot of the guilds split. A lot of the mages leave the guild because they're not in agreement with the ban. And then the college in Skyrim, that specifically doesn't have a ban against necromancy. Necromancy is technically legal. Although I guess defiling the bodies isn't legal, so maybe if it's willing it's legal. 
are just there are no good necromancers, so every necromancer we meet is guilty of something else. And that's why we just kill them all. There we go. No soul gem large enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's get these arrows. She's basically an ammo fact ar arrow factory now. Well, yeah, ammo factory. She's given her a few and she just keeps producing more. Ooh, a ruby. Okay, so we got a chest down here. It's adept. I'm sure we can handle an adept chest. Nope, we cannot handle an adept chest. Alright. There we go. Not bad. Gold and some stamina potions. Draga have gold. This is why we need Prowler's Prophet. If we had Prowler's Prophet from uh, the Thieves line, every single one of these Draga would be giving us gems, basically. Is that an iron sword? Yeah, alright, let's drop that. That's a piece of crap. We don't want to waste our inventory space on an iron sword. Oh, there are those dart traps he wanders about. There we go. Oh, steel soldier armor. That's nice looking. Some more gold, some more gold, and let's open the door. Okay. I see Draga. Yes, I do. Elemental Bolt. Can I put you on seven? Yeah, alright. So I can go like this. Oh, that was a really, really big mistake. He's a Scourge. He's, like, super, super strong. Like, way too strong. Like, he's actually, he's got shouts. That's how strong he is. Um, alright, let's send in Ghost. And we're poisoned as well, wonderful. There we go. Should we try and help against the Scourge? I feel like if he hits us though, we're just doomed. Alright, go on Ghosty. Jesus, look how strong it is. Ooh, it was thinking about hitting us then, I think. Should we maybe heal Goldir a bit? Yeah, let's get him healed so he's not going to die. Oh, crap, I walked in there and I activated the spider. Alright, let's get this Scourge dead then. There we go. Okay. The spider is much weaker than the Scourge. We've got the spider. I don't know why Lydia thinks she's flipping Legolas, but whatever. Right, what did the Scourge have on him? Some bone arrows, obviously from Lydia, uh, Ruby, and nothing else of value. What do we got? Some skeever tails in the web sacks. Okay. What about this? Nothing, just a skeleton. Oh wait, no, there's something enchanted in there. Steel mace of sapping. Okay, what's that? Ah, magic of damage. Cool. Alright, let's drop the long but we don't need that. Right. No, he's dead. Why is he dead? He doesn't look like he should be dead. He's not. Start the combat and then we send Ghosty in. And that one's the white. There we go. Alright, let's get out of the way. We don't want to fight the white. The white is the last thing we want. We should have fought the actual Draugr. There we go, this guy, for example. This one we can kill. Uh, this one we cannot kill. See, this one we cannot kill. There we go. Bit of health. I have no idea what Lydia's doing there, but okay. Alright, let's help kill this uh, this first white. Okay, and 
We don't have any soul gems to track him in, do we? So no point casting soul trap on him. There we go, one's dead. Ooh, 71 hand is good, nice. Uh, we're a bit tired. Uh, we, need a, we need a nap, apparently. It's fine. Uh, no, don't even look at me. He's, he's looking at me. He's thinking about it. There we go. Yeah, hit Lydia. That's fine. Alright, let's... Ooh! Hmm. The archers kind of caught me off guard a little bit there. Are they... They're regular. This one's a regular Draga. This one's a Draga White. Okay, so we don't want to get hit by him. But we can go around the back of him and help uh, Ghosty and Goldier against him. Yep, I had to check Goldier's name then. So Goldier is a potential follower. We could use him. We could have used him for the farm, for example, maybe. But when he's not following, he just stays here. The bear would show the way. Okay, so we've got what? Owl, fox, snake, dragon, mushrooms! Um, there, here we go. You found it. The passage goes through the sarcophagus. But we better keep going. Okay, let's keep going then. So this is where they buried disgraced members of the family. Hulking Draga. Yeah, 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 he looks disgraced, all right. He's a meaty boy, look at him, he's a bit, he's a bit wet for a Draga. Let's get our ghost out. Ghost just does so much more damage and tanks really well. Go on, go. All right. I don't even know what the Hulk and Draga is. Like, where does that come from? I don't think. Was that in the base release in vanilla, or is it come from one of the? I don't. It's not Creation Club because I've seen it before, but I don't think it came with. Vanilla pre DLCs. Where's he off? He's off. He's running. He's gonna start the fucking final boss fight. All right. All right. Cool. I'm just letting them go for it. Yeah, sure. That dragon's off. Uh, let's pick this lock. Don't know where Lydia's gone. Dragon's run away. We got some potions here though. That's nice. Oh, Lydia's yelling. There's the um What the hell is he doing? There we go, alright. Fabuloso. We summoned a load of dead people, wonderful. Drag of whites. I think we might need to charge our weapon. Um there we go, use a common soul gem. It just it does a lot more look at that, it does a lot more damage when it's uh, fully charged up. So let's kill this white. Yeah, we can fight one white. Oh we're not even by ourselves, Ghosty's here. Alright, let's heal up. Ah, Lydia's finally turned up. Now let's turn our light back on. Let's see what the hell's going on. Restless Draga, he's gone. The restless, they're easy enough. Oh crap, he's summoning even more. Can we fight this restless one on one? Oh, we're not going to have to fight it. One on one, Goldie is here. Val's um, Varen's restless Draga is apparently not aggressive to us. Cool. Finish these Draugr off. And where's he? Where's the wizard gone? Where's he gone though? I can't find the flipping mage. All right, let's kill this restless. And 
heal. Let's finish him off. There we go. Okay, so this one's finally gone hostile. Oh god, there's a lot of them now. Ah, I think the boss one might have been summoned. Okay, oh there he is, there's the wizard. Alright, I'm in here, I've got out of the way a little bit. I'm gonna kill this one and then I'm gonna send Ghost in, because I think Ghost's gone. Double Ghosty go! Alright, so there's a Draga Overlord. Should we hit that? Oh, if you hit him, he just fucks off. Alright, where to the? Oh no, I don't want that Overlord deciding it wants to hit me. Alright, let's help out over here. It's coming though, the Overlord. Oh, he's up there. You guys fight the Overlord, I'm gonna go after... No, I'm not. Where the hell's he gone again? There he is. Nah, you missed. Ha ha ha. Oh, what a prick. He's just springing the Draugr back. I'm going to kill them repeatedly. Ah, here he is. What's he doing? Is that it? Is he not going to teleport away this time? There we go. Thank you for your... Paral Paralyzed Potion recipe. All right. Robes of Conjuration. Sort of cold. This and leave me with Eagle and Dagna and my other family members. Oh, is he giving us? Oh, a thousand gold. Nice. All right, let's search these Draga. See what we've got. A lot of these bone arrows, which is kind of nice. And that's the quest done, Ancestral Worship. So he is now a potential follower for us if we ever want to come and collect him. Bring him out on some missions. All right, let's open this door. Gold, some jewels, that's nice. Gold necklace. Ooh, a Deidre heart. And here is the chest. So some more gold. Lesser soul gem. What on earth is madness or? What the heck is that? No idea. Petty soul gem and conjure undying ghost. This is what we've already got, so we can sell that. Because we've already got Ghosty. Alright, Agnes, I am very sorry about everything that happened to you. I don't think there's anything we can do for you here. Right. Have yes. Agnes. I'm going to put her on a tomb. Now, I'll put her on this table here so you can uh, embalm her or whatever it is the Nods do. Not in the fire, we're not cooking, Agnes. This feels less than respectful, but there we go. There you go. D do your Nordic thing. Hey, watch it. Oh, shushly, dear. It's a funeral. Be behave. Okay, and yeah, I think we just leave now, don't we? I think that's everything in here. It's quite a short little quest, but it's nice. You know, it's it's nice to help. It's nice to get a thousand gold as well, since we made ourselves broke. Um, building up the farm. There's nowhere to sleep, unfortunately. And here he is, look. <laughs> what will you do now? Whatever I can. After that, probably just stick around here. Saw some good game on And then we can follow here. him. I'd like to stay close for a while. Well, no, sorry, he can follow us. All right. Okay, so that is everything for this episode. We have completed the quest ancestral worship helped Goldia put his family and especially Aunt Agnes to rest 
Next episode, we will carry on on the way to Iverstead and climb the steps to High Hrothgar to meet the Greybeards. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>